Hey, this is Justin Bevins again, and this is video number four in our series on buying a home. And this series is for anybody who's uh, maybe a first time home buyer, wants to know how it works, or perhaps somebody hasn't bought a home in a long time, wants to get up to speed on how things work these days in California and Nevada, which is where I'm a broker. So today's topic is searching for a home. Now, most people start their search on the internet these days, and in tandem with your real estate agent between the two of you, hopefully you're, uh, you're finding all the homes that fit your criteria. Now, there's a couple of things I wanna recommend when it comes to searching for a home. The first is, use the major portals. And the reason why the major search portals are the best place to go is because they're usually tied directly to the multiple listing service. Now, the multiple listing service is where the agents go and enter all the informations on the homes that are for sale, all the, all the new listings. So if I get a listing, I go in and I put the information in by hand. Usually the top portals like Realtor.com will have the most accurate up-to-date information because they're usually tied directly into that multiple listing service in different areas around the country. Another great place to search for homes online is your agent's website if they have an IDX feed. And you can usually tell at the bottom of their website there's usually some sort of um, reference to uh, a multiple listing service that's providing the data for, um, for that uh, particular agent's website. You could just ask your agent and they'll let you know. But they're usually tied directly to the MLS, which means they usually have the most recent accurate data. And it's important that you're searching in a portal, a search portal, where you're getting the most accurate data so you can see the newest homes, the newest price changes, and make sure you're not seeing old homes that have already been sold and aren't even on the market anymore. So the second thing I recommend is that you um, have your agent set you up on an auto MLS update. Now that just means they go in directly to the multiple listing service. They put in your criteria for the home that you want to buy and you get daily, weekly, or hourly updates, whatever you tell them you want, on new homes that come on the market as well as price changes, maybe a home that was in escrow and comes back on the market. But you get the latest information as it happens in the MLS, which is where the agents are putting all that information. So it allows you to be up to speed. And the other cool thing about it is you can usually go in and mark your favorites so that your agent can look and see, well, these are the properties that they like. I'm gonna you know, try and focus all my efforts on finding something similar to what they like here in, the, uh, in their auto updates. And if you see something you really like, you can just send a note to your agent, say, hey, this, this property popped up today. I wanna go see it. When can we get in the car and go look at it? So it allows you and your agent to be on the same page when it comes to looking for homes. Now, one last thing I wanna add is new home searches. I would recommend that if you're looking at new homes, you always go see a new home with your agent uh, accompanying you on the first visit. And the reason why is because builders, a lot of times, won't recognize your agent or work with your agent if they didn't sign you in on that first um, first visit. Now, buying with a new home is a little different than existing home. Your agent isn't as, invol as involved, typically, as they would be if you were buying an existing home. But it's still important to have an advocate in your corner who can uh, kind of give you advice along the way because the new, buy, the, the new home builder is probably not really looking out for you. He's looking out for himself and your agent is really the one who's looking out for you. So always take him with you to that first meeting with a new home builder. So anyway, hopefully that helps with uh, best ideas for searching for a home and I'll see you on the next video.